Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kazurak. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, but right now, we're discovering. Although no public announcement has been made, Mantetu's research wing has communicated that the Kwantung Army discovered a collaborative farming effort, a claim backed up by the findings from our intelligence services. Jeno Ueda Kenkichi said is himself to have stormed into the office of the Mantetu president, Matsuoka Yosuke, and delivered a thunderous verbal barrage regarding the necessity of Feng Chan's guaranteed state of dependence. The Guantung's army ability to punish Mantetsu is ultimately limited. As a powerful company is practically autonomous, but there's little doubt that the army will go out of its way to make things difficult for everyone involved. Unfortunately, this will certainly be the end of the specific collaboration between Project with Mantetsu. Unfortunate, and we're doing limited women's suffrage. Universal suffrage is a step too far, as gender roles are at the very foundation of any morally upright Confucian society, but Song Qingling has demanded at least limited suffrage for women. With the right preparations made, women across the country will soon be able to vote in local elections, in spite of the move's questionable popularity. And of course we're getting some things done in research here, which is great, 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 great. And I forget exactly what we need, but I am slowly trying to build up more of a navy, so we'll see what happens with that. We might be able to use that, maybe, maybe not. Even though we don't have a lot of political power since we did decide to just directly annex these guys. Um, the Unibrin still exists, unfortunately. So, the war's still going on. And it doesn't seem like anyone can really naval invade them successfully, which does suck. But, it is what it is. And right now, actually, we have one, two, three, four lines going at the same time. I don't mind building up a little bit, but we do need more millies. But I do want to get a, just a bigger industrial base, if possible. So, 50% um, is not bad. And building a more infrastructure is never a bad idea either, especially when you get slightly more skill, maybe. So, of course, we're trying to get a lot of this stuff done as well in terms of industry. But after this one, what are we going to do? Nine point strategy commission ships from Japan. A dockyard would not be bad. We don't really need that yet, though. Request of frames. Well, let's come back down here in the China Welfare Fund. Song Ching Ling, life to the late Dr. Sun. As a figure on whom all Republicans could rally in return for our political support, Miss Song has asked that the Feng Chong government make several guarantees in return. The first of these is the creation of a China Welfare Fund, which will fund a government aid towards women and children, often those at the greatest risk of hunger and destitution. So we do have a little bit of naval XP here. Now, this is not bad. That's not bad. We can do that one immediately. Cruiser armor is pretty bad. Secondary batteries, I'm not even going to bother with that one yet, because that's so bad. That's so bad. This stuff, so bad. Oh my goodness, this is so not good. Um, I mean, it'll be what it'll be. I guess we could make it early on. Do this to get some ships out. Uh, yeah, I guess why not. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Besides, these guys... Well, ooh, that's really good radar, though. Um, well, we do the best they possibly can, but... I know we're researching that anyways, but whatever. Uh, get rid of our guts, escort cruiser batteries, and get some more of that. Thank you. Cool. Okay, I should see supply troops, which is great to see in here. Yes, yes. Good. Nice. So, limited women's suffrage. We have some comments to go through as well. I was trying to get out of our PP deficit, which is limiting us for everything that we do, which really, really sucks. But whatever. You know, whatever. It is what it is. Controversial women's suffrage. So for a while... Oh, communications clique. If you want to know about Kao Rulin, please go right ahead. Communications clique. Uh, sure. And I nice, we 7%. We're in a recovery league right now. Condemn. Someone wants me to go condemn. Conservative democracy? Huh. Condemn. Hmm. Social conservative. Authoritarian Democrat. But yeah, it is what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. And towards the third principle, which will hurt our... Hmm. Consumer goods. Gives more cap, but... It does give us more national legitimacy, which is not bad either. Because right now, for national legitimacy is what? It's not bad. You got more stability, more war support. Hurts the recruitable population factor, but that's not really too much of an issue that I think we really need to worry about too much. I'm waiting for Japan to do this. This faction is research oil processing. And then again, we're not with them, but they, they're they still in their own faction, right? Yeah. So they are a faction leader, so we should be able to get this. Um, Japan's quest for crucial oil led it to Manchuria, but now with disappointing results from prospecting, coal gasification seems the only logical path forward. Though, though energy intensive, Fushun's enormous coal deposits could make the complex processes worthwhile, but... I don't want to do this yet, because we don't get as many factories, but I don't know if that's, that's going to take so long to do, though. But I did ask you guys yesterday, should we refine provincial obligations versus centralize uh, provincial revenues? And overall, there's more support for this one at the time of this recording, even though the federal supported us in the conference, which means we might not be able to do that, actually. Huh. So we might have to centralize provincial revenues. So my bad, guys. My bad. We'll see what happens, but you know what? We might just go this way anyways. We don't get all the factories, but that's okay. And great occupied arsenals. The Shenyang arsenal is unquestionably the greatest in China, but 
by integrating and specializing new seas, newly seized arsenals. Now, as part of a national supply system, we may be, to e be able to ease the burden on Shenyang and improve our overall logistical capabilities. Okay, so let's do that. Be good. Are we still training our ships? Good, as we should be. And also, we've been getting a lot more planes. Like, quite a, quite a good air force, honestly, compared to what, what we used to have, of course, but still. Um, tactical bombers? Never enough, but still. Here, just go over here. There you go, not bad. And our armies are just kind of hanging out, having a good old time. Uh, 400 more? Go right there. Why not? We're starting to run out of airstrips, because we have enough airbases. Nice. Train? Could you in half? Very good. And this is all for the future, because we're definitely going to need all this stuff. Yeah, that'll be actually gone very soon, so. Uh, 37% war support's not great, but whatever. Syria's looking really nice. Does Syria have a focus tree yet? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, they do! Wow. And Jewish land acquisitions. Cool. Support the Syrian textile industry. Looks really awesome. An army with a state. The Nubian Federation. Oh, look. At, so they're, they're always trying. They're just never successful at invading, which really sucks for them. It really sucks for us, too, because we want to end the war. So. Oh, well. One of the comments uh, said that uh, so they, they say we'll be... They would doubt we'll be able to annex the Chinese eastern provinces. You know what we're going to do about that? Defeat Japan. Kick them out of the faction. And then fight these guys. That's how we do it. Cool. Just going to do this one since we just got to keep going on anyway. So after this though, streamline line. Rubber, oil, steel, extraction, output. And after engineer core, um, 43. We're done with our land auction, which is actually really nice. We could get better tanks. I'm thinking we'll probably go ahead and grab better extraction. And happy July, everybody. Happy, happy July. There you go. And we don't have a lot of army XP just because I made some of these guys 40 combo with. Not everyone's 40 combo with, but we're getting there. Definitely getting there. All right. Come on. There's nothing else we can do. That sucks. So after this one, we're going to go ahead and do crush flies and capture pigs. Corruption and abusive power has been run rampant throughout China over the past several decades, and all levels of the Fang Chiang government are complicit in this activity. In order to gain the public's trust, some measures of law and order must be restored. Examples will be made out of both low-level flies and high-level pigs, who have been greedily gorging themselves on the nation's livelihood. Also, I do want to do all this stuff if we possibly can before we, like, rebel, rebel against Japan, so we'll see. Keep training, keep training. Blueprint ceiling is nice. Keep building, 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 building. Keep building a massive industry, even though... Well, that's just not too bad. 241 factories is pretty good, actually. So... Oh, German Empire's up there. This is so sad. Guys, please just kill them off, for the love of God. How's America looking? They're still fighting over here. 300,000. You're scraping the barrel, though. Feels pretty bad to be in America right now. All right, Bucky, get a ship. Group heavy hull. Nice. Keep building, building, building. Not bad. And oh wow, we need a lot of aluminum. Um, I don't mind training for a little bit more, maybe. Oh, hello. And get a spot more of rubber for now. Just a spot more, not much more. I oh, need less if we do that. We just upgrade our stuff too. So. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade everything we can. Makes it a little cheaper for us. Industry-wise, not too bad. Really not too bad at all. Acceptance of women's suffrage. <laughs> well, the population's finally accepted the idea of women's suffrage, or women being able to vote in local elections, which is quite controversial before, as it has comparatively radically changed, considering China's very conservative society. Song Jingling has declared a great victory for women's rights in China, being the main reason the Feng Shui government implemented the policy in the first place. A victory for women, a victory for democracy. At least now we have a positive amount. When I say positive, I think above 50% uh, stability. So that's not too bad. We have some uh, yeah, influence. 0.79 is even better. Yeah, Mentetsu influence is really bad for us. They have 47 factories stolen from us from, by Japan, which is god awful. We get more construction speed, don't get me wrong, but that's still so bad. Just gonna build up this industry as well. Let's build, 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 build. Don't you give it. We're not even gonna bother with that. It's not worth it. Don't even bother with that. But after that one, we're definitely going to be doing Crush the Flies and Pigs, and then, well, yeah, I don't know if we can really do this one. Do you know no best? One Army, One Republic. Yeah. 
not bad. That's, that's definitely better than it was before, so. And compliance. Well, this is all resistance. Compliance? 34% is not bad over here. 34% is pretty good. 37, 49, 55. We still haven't caught all this stuff yet, which sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright. Cruiser belts. At this point, you might as well go that way. But I'll give it one more time. Let's at least do... Not that. Let's go ahead and do... Oh, that wouldn't be too bad either. Heavy batteries. You actually got the light ones here, huh? Here are the mediums. Nice. And then do this one. 56 day focuses. Take so long, man. Out of that one. We have to... That's so that's so good for consumer goods, though. You lose war support, but... And stability, but... <clears throat> Whatever, man. Yeah, the Federalists did not support us, I guess. To the third principle. And this will give us more legitimacy and political power, which will be out of our deficit, and we can actually do stuff then. But perhaps the greatest source of disunity in China has been the decentralization of our tax system. Begun with the introduction of provincial Lijin transit tariffs in 1853, the new central government must limit provincial taxation and reduce the percentage local authorities may keep for themselves. Otherwise, local governments will continue to deny the national revenue. Look at all the stuff we can do here if we have more political power. <clears throat> I mean, overall, we're really trying to make ourselves even better, 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 better. Can anyone else see your train? Because having 40 combo with... And these are not all 40 combo with yet, but like... I would like them eventually to be all 40 combo with. I'm not doing it yet just because it costs a lot, first of all. And supply is really, really bad here. So... That's why I'm, I'm doing it very slowly. Give our guys some time to get used to it. Oh, if you're worried about that, please go right ahead. Zane Klee, huh? Appoint Ma. Uh, resistance growth goes down. Zane Klee goes up. Well, whatever helps Lower Concordia Association. That's what I care about. Oh. Everyone was doing this stuff too, which is really nice. Cool. There you go. Do that too. Horse is looking okay. Happy guys are about that. Happy guys ish, roughly. Uh, Ma Zhang Sheng. Nothing there. That's fine. <sighs> Guys, just take a god dang port. Please. Please. For the love of God. Nice. Helped out our recruitable population factor a little bit. Not by much, but hey, I'll take whatever we can get. Ooh. Factors went down a little bit more. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, but if we have to, well, let's we'll kick these people out once we deal with Japan. The Barty Commune's not dead yet. Look at that. <clears throat> you know Mm, I don't know. I wish we could send volunteers, but we can't, but whatever. Uh, four million, four million, two, th two, three million. Yeah, this is... It's pretty gosh darn bloody, man. Keep building. Oh, what about Solado Cities? Let's put another thing of rubber. Rubber. Build it right there. We don't really need more, more cities yet. Or more millies, I should say. Let's go with this amount for now. Because much we need more rubber... We need more fuel, so... Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be very good, actually. Because... <sighs> Union of Britain, why? Why, man, why? It's getting close to 2 million manpower. They're on all adults, sir. They've got so much fuel, a lot of convoys. Mass amount of divisions. No, literally no fleet. Just... A good amount of that, but like... <sighs> so dumb. Actually, can we get military access? Oh my gosh, Jeremy. Why is resistance here so high? Do you not have guns? Commune Art Spirit, of course. Huh. Well, alright, we got six days left for that. And these guys are all going to be all done very soon, too, so. It all looks pretty good, though. Italian Federation? Huh, I like your hat. I like your hat, too. You have no hat. You have almost no hair. Yep, Carl's looking like he's getting old, man. What is this? National Armor School. Economic Depression. Of course, Russia would be an economic depression. Nice. Crush flies and pigs. I guess we'll centralize the ones anyways. My apologies for not getting there yet. Now we have PP. Oh, thank God we have PP. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Qinghai. No, I don't do one. Ningxia. Hubei. Yeah, I do Hubei. And what else? Anything else yet? we can do yet? Road Reclamation. We could. Yeah. Hmm. I don't mind going to war with someone like the Republic of Burma, maybe. First. That's going to cost us so much extra political power. Let's not do it. Yeah, let's not do it. 
That's that. You just did that. You need to get that. And you. I'm going to spend a lot of the time making more ships because we need more ships. Get that. After excavation, uh, it's almost 44, so we'll do this stuff. And then we'll grab even more of this. We might not even make a navy, but this is just all preliminary, just in, just in case. With 70%, uh, stability, we only get 0.63 political power, which sucks. Because we're trying to integrate, integrate Hubei. Hubei. The generals know best. I like that one. You get more daily command power gain, more organization, more war support, but when army of the Republic, you lose stuff for a while, but then you get even more daily political power gain, command power gain, I should say. Maximum command power increase and the same amount of division organization. Yeah. So daily command power, point one versus points plus 25%. <laughs> same organization, you get more war support, yeah. Honestly, this is gray null. I'm really thinking this one's probably the better way to go. One army, one republic. If we're to learn a single lesson from over 2,000 years of Chinese history, is that when the military force is divided, so too is the country. In order to build a unified China, we must create a single army, beneath a single banner, at the direction of a single command structure. This measure will not be popular at any level of government outside the cabinet. Very true. And as much as I want to integrate these guys immediately, after integrating Hubei, we might just go to war with Japan. Communications clique. Um, I propose it for Mansetsu. Oh no, that's not good enough. I think I read this one before. Yeah, if you want to read about this one, please go ahead. Yeah, no. Didn't we have that? That's why it failed earlier, didn't it? That's pretty sure that's why it's failed. Yeah, at this point. We actually might be able to go toe to toe the Japanese, maybe. So you guys are Afghanistan. I, I, I said before, like, I want to go with Afghanistan, and I still do. But let's wait first. Let's see. So we have you guys over here. Cavalry over here, which we can move around. Um, you guys are down there, which actually, I'm going to do this. You guys are up there, which is fine. You guys are down here, which is great. And you guys are over here, which is great. Because this is the main force against us to beat the Japanese. The Transmirror won't be easier to beat, probably. But with 40, a lot of 40 combo with, we should do okay. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. And you guys, this is another front down here with the uh, Empire of Japan. So... Yeah, we're going to go to War with Japan next. May it live 10,000 more years. The Republic of China? And then maybe we'll be able to integrate the other groups? I don't know. Let's, let's, get, let's get this focus first. Get our guys on the border. And then, why are there Japanese soldiers still in our lands? They do be looking kind of thick. They do have armor on that one. Holy crap. Any other ships yet? No, we're not really making them, so makes sense. We need more tanks and for medium tanks. Yeah, we do want some tank divisions, but we don't have that much army XP yet. Um, good. The supplier troops, nice. That's all we can support for now. Which is not bad division. Here, make it, make at least one for now. Chinese armor is best armor. Well, maybe, depending on who you ask. Um, since we're here, just going to do that one. And when we get the extra five political power, then we'll do this one too. Now we should be greatly, yeah, greatly expanding how much we can have. Nice. Get more uh, rubber. Alright, one army or one republic. And once we get up there, and once our soldiers are on the line, we will go ahead and say Republic of China time. Ah, well, once these guys are on the line, god dang it. So after that one, we'll probably do the, well, I guess technically we'll do the ultimatum as well. China's been crushed and humiliated beneath the boot heel of foreign powers for nearly a century. The time's come for national humiliation, and Japan must meet her terms to meet her, or meet her steel. I, mean, I did say I do want to do this stuff, but... Honestly, this stuff doesn't really matter. It doesn't give us any, like, really, 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 really solid, great benefits. So, even if we don't get to it, it's fine. Um, yeah, that, nothing there. That's not great. Uh, that's just, it doesn't matter really either. Reverse engineer. Yeah, honestly, all this stuff, it doesn't really matter too much. Like, it, it's one thing if you get a national spirit. But if you don't get any permanent benefits, then so be it. Um, 
Oh, not bad. So, the loyalty of the workers achieved. The Fangshin government has finally achieved its goal of destroying the influence of unions by using various means like union busting, anti-union propaganda, as well as increasing radical... Uh, national control of key industries. The propaganda has instilled the belief that the unions are just a way to divide the society, weakening us against the West, which is most workers now finally believe in. Unions divide the country in the face of foreign imperialism. To give more factory output and overall production efficiency retention. Nice. Are we ready? Oh, we have these guys down here too. Um, yeah, you, you guys actually come over here first. Should take too long before you get down here though. Oh, even four more divisions too. Nice. And they will try to navally invade, don't get me wrong, but still. Did we integrate? Oh, look at that. We did integrate Hubei. We have almost 3 million manpower now. Very nice, very nice. We will lose some of our uh, rubbers and Siamis in that group, but whatever. Thank you. Happy 44, everybody. Nice. Going to two. Well. As soon as the cavalry gets over here, we'll do that. Recovery League, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Um, eh. Why not? Why not, right? One army, one republic. Yeah. Come on, horse boys, come on. We actually have a... Oh, look at that. Advanced light cruiser, nice. At this point, just go and not train anymore. Go home. There we go, let's do it. Reclaim the Republic of China. Oh, in 30 days. God dang it. I need to read this, I need to read this a little better. Alright, advanced heavy holes and modern heavy holes, because they're going to take forever to make. We definitely need more naval XP. Oh, yeah, don't even bother then. More industry. All or nothing armor cruiser scheme. Nice. Good, good, good. Unfortunately, we're out of copy. Oh, my goodness. Man, integrating these places costs so much. Well, like I said before, but still. I'll get more fuel will be good. The Jinhai Railway would be awesome. One Army, one Republic. And finally do the ultimatum. And after that one... Oh, wait, what is this? Thorough Commander Forms? Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, towards the third principle. Min Sheng, who people's welfare, is a lot to Dr. Sun Yat-sen's three principles, but no less important than his fellows. Through various educational and developmental programs, Song Ching Ling hopes to eventually re realize this principle. The Feng Shui government will allocate a number of resources to this end. So what happens when we, when we become the Republic of China? And we're done with that too. Nice. Just in case. As great as that is. A lot of stock as well. You know, click. I mean, they're not weak by any means, but still. Look at these. How... How are you this week, Japan? How many divisions I got? Leviathan of the Pacific. I got a lot of ships. I should got some naval bombers, but whatever. I forgot about my planes. Whoopsie. Oh well. <coughs> Happens. Worker loyalty is very nice. Um. Ah. Oh! Hello! What the heck? Wait, how did these guys die? What? Do they do, do they do a separate piece deal, maybe? Oh, good god, no, that's not good. Oh god, oh god. Just give it all to Germany, I don't care. Just give it all to Germany. I apologize for this, oh my goodness. There's so much here. Does Italy have any claims? Yeah, Italy does have some claims on this stuff, man. Um, Italian Federation. Upper Savoy, Savoy itself. Oh my goodness. Almost done, almost done, almost done, almost done, almost done. I just don't care. Actually, I should go to Italy. Nice. <clears throat> uh, Wu Jingliang crosses, criticizes the government of Japan. Did they actually make it? Good port? God dang it, they didn't get a port yet. 
Setting a recent expansion of the Japanese military garrison in Shenyang, Wu Xiang Lian, uh, launched a scathing criticism of Japan's foreign policy from the Assembly floor. Though other politicians have been known to disparage the Japanese in the past, the most post the foreign minister gives Wu's words a different kind of significance and elevates them above the confines of the Assembly. Wasting no time. The Japanese consul general has already demanded we remove Wu from office. Oh dear. Go suck yourself. Wrote a recommendation. Oh, we can integrate you guys. Oh, it's going to take forever to do it like, like this. Yunnan would be great. Together we'll rebuild China so long as they tow the line. Shangxi. Um, honestly, as much as I want to do that one, I probably would prefer to do this one first. Yeah, just get get the areas that we already have under our control first. So, <clears throat> but I hope you like the flag. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. Oh, because France is being released. Nice. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Fate is. What? What do you mean, fate of? Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, but like, I'm, I'm not gonna take, if, if they force us to do this again, I'm just gonna give myself 200 political power, I'm not gonna deal with that BS. The game should realize already that, no, we already did that once. Oh, France exists, look at that. Hey, France and Brittany. And you're part of the Reichspact, huh? Huh. The French Republic got screwed out of that. <clears throat> oh, and they lost it down here. God dang it, you guys suck, man. Why do you suck so much? Enter Mongolian region would be good as well. Well, I guess Japan doesn't really want to care about that we took them out, so... Alright. Fine with us. Keep putting up a lot more roads, though. Roads, roads, roads. Country roads take me home. And since we're here... Get more of an airbase. Because they did put some radar down here, too, which is very good. Um, yeah, we're stacked for a lot of the, uh... Oh, we're done. Nice. Stacked for a lot of planes. <clears throat> oh, we must have integrated another area. Nice. Um... Concordia Association? Nope. Nope. Just a fat no. Because we're pretty much ready to go to war, so... And we'll do it. Then we'll integrate these guys. We can't do this here because we don't have this. Oh, Shangxi, yeah, that sucks. Who can give us Germany, bro? Montenegro. There you go. There you go. Nice. That's all better. And let's go all the way. Nice. The ultimatum. Let's go and stop training now. Give us what we deserve, or you will die. I wonder if they actually give it to us, but... I want to do the railway as well. The Xinhai Railway? Uh, sure, why not? Something different this time. Originally financed by the Belgian capital, Xinhan Railway runs north and south from Beijing to Zili to Hankuo and Hubei for decades. It serves as one of China's north primary transit arteries. Ferrying goods across the length of the North China Plain and connecting its width by way of Zhengzhou. In years since its construction, the railway has fallen on hard times, so while the Belgians are long gone, it'll take a great deal of investment to restore its infrastructure and integrate it with our new national railway services, of course. We could always ask Mantetsu to do it free of charge. What type of moron gets it to Mantetsu? What the heck? No. We are the Republic of China, my friends. Led by Mr. Slight Mustache Man. Oh, please. Take a port, for the love of God, AI. Why are you so dumb? Why are you just throwing divisions away? Take a port. Take hull. The ultimatum. Bend the knee, Japan, or face all wrath. That's, an empty, that's quite a few divisions. Okay, I'll be honest. That's quite a few divisions here. You might still be able to hold up. These guys are only 20 combat with, but still. Well, they're not facing any wrath yet, so. So we're done with this side of the focus tree for now. And we've done everything on the left side, so really it's all on the right, right side right, right now. Uh, that's not really worth it. Expand the Ying Kuo Naval Yard. Ying Kuo was the Northeast region's second largest port after Japanese held Port Arthur, the home of our Navy. If we were to begin any meaningful naval reconstruction project, expansion of the Ying Kuo Naval Yard is an first, essential first step. <clears throat> Japan declares war. 
Good for them. In response to our expulsion of their officers, the Japanese government has cut all ties and declared war. Many will look at this as a disaster, but perhaps it's an opportunity in disguise. The truth will be found on the battlefield. Nice. <clears throat> and they do get post colonial chaos, which is really bad. We're going in, boys. Can we go to war with you guys as well? They are allied, so. Cuba. Oh. J the Japanese have sent upon Asia. So be it. That which we have long feared has finally come. Long have the Japanese greedily eyed our vast land, taking advantage of our natural resources and divided the natural unity. Now they're here in full force. The invasion will test our metal and bravery. And we should not falter. <clears throat> and we'll do this as well. The Japanese are despicable barbarians. Already reports have reached us of the unspeakable crimes, and one can only imagine the fate of our countrymen at the hands of the loathsome pirates. The Western power is preoccupied with events in Europe, and America have abandoned us to our fate. And while we're in danger, uh, has China not resisted and fought back against the invaders for centuries? Our civilization back dates back 4,000 years, a testament to our glorious will and determination. We will resist our invasion with the greatest of tenacity and drive the Japanese back to their islands. Uh, Kilai? Or Kilai? No longer shall we be divided into slaves of the Japanese dogs. Now is not... Not the time. United, we stand, divided, we fall. The war of national resistance has begun. As Japan continues to escalate the conflict, the resistance across the nation shall get worse. We're going straight in, boys. Expel the Japanese bandits. The time has come to declare our open independence. Drive the Japanese intruders from China and end a century of unbearable humi national humiliation. We now will be naturally be deprived of national foreign, foreign uh, material support, but the Chinese people now rally behind us. Onward, Zonghua Minguo Wansai. Nice. Kill them all off. Every single last one of them. Every single last one of them has to die. Oh, we can integrate these guys, but I'll do that area first. We need so much political power for this stuff. Holy crap. Uh, raise the Baoding Cadet Corps. The young Baoding Cadets were among the most vocal supporters of the Manchu Monarchy in Beijing, and her victory in North China left all but a few imprisoners at home. Now the time has come for these men to fight on the right side of history. While some may question arming former enemies, the pa patriotism is unquestionable, and in dire such times, the country must come first. Eh, we'll be okay without them. I'm not worried about that. Uh, do Shang-Chi next. Ah, uh, do Yunnan as well. Screw it. Do both at the same time. Oh, you're attacking us? Great! You're going in immediately. Maybe... Yeah, go in. Force the attack. Oh, look at that. Port Arthur will be ours, my friends. Wait, why is this going to Russia? This is our... If this is given to Russia, which has happened to me before, I'm taking it back from them. This is our territory. Don't give me this crap that it's their territory. It is our territory. I swear to God, it will be our territory. Whether the AI, the game likes it or not. I swear to God, it will be ours. Come down here, because we definitely need some help. Japan, you're going to die now. Well, at least on the continent. Transmir is going to perish harshly. Fancy batteries are nice. Come over here and grab this. It's not 45 yet, but I still want this anyways. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn decent, I'd say. Pretty darn decent. Get some of that, though. Korea is going to fall. I swear to God, we are going to get Korea. Hold for now, hold for now. Because we're going to need numbers for Siam. Three million map has a bunch. It's a whole bunch. Mon Cruiser's nice. Get some more land out attack. Anything else around here? Ah, we can do it anyways because we can. Why not? Just because we can. No, not bad. Transmere's gone as they should be. Hello. When do you all get here? You know what's good? Send you guys back up north real quick. Just come down here this way this way if you can, possibly, very quickly. Yeah, I'm sorry, Russian Republic, but I'm taking that territory. Whether you like it or not, I'm taking it. Let the horses do it. Or actually, no. I'll let you guys do it as well. Why not? You guys are down there, so... I'm also going to move too. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I know if I'm attacking this area, we're going to take it back, so. Yeah. Can you do a general attack here? We do well over here. Over here, not so much. Root him out. Yeah, it should be okay once uh, we push the Japanese out of 
mainland China or Asia. Mm. Cow? Sure. Only killed off 300,000 of them. That's not enough. We came ready for this war. We came very ready for this war, which is awesome. Race towards Busan. Wow, it's a lot of divisions. It's alright. War resistance against Japanese aggression. China faces the greatest national peril yet for each inch of Chinese land that is lost. Urgent call to action comes, calls, calls for. Our troops fight back valiantly without data weaponry and are abandoned by the imperialist powers, yet with each day the Japanese war machine suffers. Unable to break our indomitable spirit, soldiers and citizens, warlords and republicans, landlords and peasants. But away are squabbling for now is time for unity. Greedy barbarians will always envy our beautiful country, but they shall not have it. We'll triumph for them. Let the Chinese people be united in their fight against the bandits. The Chinese people have finally been emancipated from the imperialism. We shall fight to the death once we, once we. Sweet swan, swan sweet. You can try to invade us, and you're gonna invade us, like, probably relatively successfully, but I don't care. No, we actually have a division there, actually, just hanging out, nice. Yeah, we definitely gotta integrate you, Nan. Uh, we already read this one, haven't we? Yeah, we already read that one. Huh, weird. Not bad. Pretty good. Alright, so when do we win? Like, we already kicked him out. Bro. What happens now? I want you guys to hang out now, so. Is it just for. Yeah. No, 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 no. Towards the third principle. you guys do this for now that'd be fun we could make you guys 40 combo with but like so when does the peace deal fire political actions no usually the peace deal is fires after we win there so and we gotta keep our pp so we can integrate more of you non so yeah cool Jinhan Railway Reclaim. After a great deal of effort, a team of bureaucrats and engineers have been assembled to take control of the Jinhan Railway. A number of the staff have been pulled out of retirement while others possess dubious graduation certificates, but nonetheless, the trains are thus far running on time. Also, um, like, we know how we try to integrate Shangxi? Well, apparently, and Yunnan, we just annex them. Now, they're not core or anything like that, but honestly, it makes us look a lot better. Also, um, we're also down here too, just trying to just beat the crap out of the Japanese, but what else is new, you know? What else is new? Um, I'm trying to integrate just more provinces in general. Uh, I'm somewhat surprised that there's nothing here for like a peace deal with the Japanese. We kicked them out of the mainland, except for down here, but... Oh well. The nine point strategy. The severe asymmetry in strength between the Feng Shan and Zili navies mean that in the absence of its Japanese support, our entire coast will be at risk of invasion. Japanese strategists have outlined nine positions at which naval landings are most likely and drafted plans for the defense. Nice. Cool. And just keep throwing more guys, I guess. You got oh, also, this army, I there's all 40 combo with, for the most part, except for this thing down here. Just because this is literally from uh, the armies of Shang-Chi. So, yeah. Just want to let you know that, too. How we got a bunch of extra divisions here, too. So we're doing relatively okay down here for now. Zhang Zuling. Personally leading. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be commissioning any Japanese warships now, but, you know, whatever. You never know. I reformed the Marine Corps. A Marine Corps was created in 1914 called the Republic of China Marine Corps, but as a temple, it went nowhere. We'll revive the China Marine Corps along modern lines, enabling us to better operate in riverland environments like the Huanghe and the Yangtze. Given the right opportunity, we may even be able to cross the Bohai Sea and make the Wu Paipu's old strategy our own. Also, there was one comment saying that even before I started like doing all this war stuff, uh, or this episode, apparently we should have like 100,000 guns. From Someone said we recommended we should have like 100,000 guns before we go to war with Japan. Well, as you can see, well, we have at least that much. You know, 175,000 now, so... We're, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Oh, look at that, huh? 
Oh, wait, I should got more planes. God dang it, I keep forgetting about planes. I understand. Like, when is a peace deal supposed to fire? Like, after we defeat the Kingdom of Siam, maybe? They're not going to win. We've killed all 700,000 of them. They had the Philippines with them, but we're slowly winning down here, too, so... I'm not really sure what they're trying to really expect from us. Uh, what are you guys doing, dear? How about y'all go over here? Get out. Get out. Yeah, get out. Because <clears throat> overall, we're doing a little better than I thought we would be. So, um, at this point, we're just, like, integrating places and doing stuff like that. So, we only get, like, 0.96, which is still pretty good. But still. Yunnan would be nice. Actually, Yunnan or Gansu? Gansu has 5 million. You guys have... Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of factors. Yeah, Yunnan first. You Definitely Yunnan. Of course, it doesn't help that we're trying to integrate, like, three places. So we're losing 0.6 every single day. So, hmm, not great. India's looking pretty good, too. Oh, my God. Please, just kill them all. Please. Portugal. Was that Portugal? No, well, now, now we can't tell. God dang it. And America's still killing itself. It's 44, America. You're like the Spain of this timeline. Just can't figure out how to do the Civil War at all. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, Germany invaded these guys, too. Look at that. Republic of what is this? Die Viet? Nice. Get some more extraction. Oh, we got plenty of this stuff now. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Oh, do we integrate place? Oh, yep. Yes, we did. Nice. Dutch boys? We love Dutch boys? Hmm. I mean, honestly, we got more than enough stuff. I mean, we just need more rubber for, like, more tactical bombers and such, but still. And we even made some tank divisions, too, so... If you guys could go in... <clears throat> as we take in more places here, I'm going to try to throw in more uh, tactical bombers. We got plenty of fighters. We really do. But, oh, actually, we got some casts. I love me some casts. You know what? Do that as well. Are you fighters? It's fine. There aren't even more guys here. I could for we could force the attack, but supply is so bad here that's not gonna be worth it. Modern artillery. We're doing that already. It's still 44. Grab some... Oh, oh, there goes Pacific States. Nice. A little bit of lag, but that's okay. Oh, and then it goes the PSA. What the heck? Oh my god. No, at this point, no. I'm sorry, I'm using... Uh, we're doing this. No. We're fighting down here. This is our states at this point. No more. No. Sorry, I'm not going to tolerate that type of BS. This is our territory at this point. I'm not going to tolerate that. That is such crap. Like, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? We are taking this territory, whether they like it or not. Um, go right there. It's fine. Is a peace supposed to fire at all? Like, this is stupid. It, it needs to fire, right? There's no way Japan can win on the mainland at this point. There's absolutely no way. Chang? Sure, why not? Yeah, we actually beat them. Beated them? Beat them. We're doing some serious damage. Surprising. Gansu is next. Come on, guys. We gotta give it up. Three million? They got plenty of equipment, though. Which sucks, but still. See, so you guys still struggling. You hold for now. Because, uh, well... Ooh. I hate these victory points. They're just not very conductive for us. Hey, took us up, though. That's nice. Alright, so since you're both here... Do it like that. There you go. Streamline it a little bit better than that. There you go. And we got some more generals here because of, uh... Well, Long Yun. Nice. Of annexing uh, Yunnan. Which is very good. Very, very good. Don't get me wrong. Very, 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 very good. We need a lot of political power for Shandong and these guys, so. And one united front will be much easier to control, too. Annam. Laos. Sucks. Go here. We can encircle them and kill them off. 
Nice, very good. Oh boy, Ooh, we're still doing well, still doing well. Japan, just give it up. You're not coming back on the mainland. Get in there before they can. You guys keep these guys in place. Come on, you pieces of garbage. Hey, two divisions. Go ahead. Nice. The form of command structure finished. The Republic of China's massive reform of the command structure is finally finished, creating a finally a centralized command structure in China, seen by the central government as paramount for preventing a new division of China in the future. While this has improved the army considerably in its efficiency, it's very unpopular among high-ranking generals, as it removes their previous autonomy, seen with warlords ruling in many parts of the nation. Oh, oh well. And now we should fight even stronger, because now we have bonuses to our uh, strength. <clears throat> it's better, so hopefully we get slightly more supply here. Yeah, we definitely do. Oh, so much nicer. So much nicer. Good, that's even better too. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, I just say planes, right? So. It's 44, so. Uh, oh, Germany East Asia's over there? Yeah, sorry, Germany East Asia, but no. We're launching offensive this way. You actually might be able to win now. Douglas MacArthur remains president. Who could have seen that one coming? <clears throat> Honestly, like, at this point, we're just gonna take it all. Like, Germany East Asia's dead to me. Like, I'm, I'm literally just gonna take it from them, because I, I'm sorry, no. If we take it over, you're, there's no way that you should be able to get it back. Uh, Gansu, as well. And Guangdong, eventually. J Japan, you're paying the price. You're going to pay the heavy, heavy, heavy... Ooh, they're out of artillery, too. I like that a lot. Nice. And regular riverboat patrols? Or river patrols. The native possesses a small number of small patrol boats, occasionally used to police the Yalu and Songhua rivers, but the majority of which are currently rusting away in storage. These might be better used to train recruits and maintain our na internal security, if we can find the funding, of course, which we will. Trust me, we will. Awesome, awesome. Air support? No, we're not winning everywhere, but still. It's just about dealing damage to their weaponry. And also getting Laos so we can get some more supplies here. Super important. Because we have more than enough equipment. Artillery is good. Infantry equipment is good. Uh, Anti-tank. Usually I, like, I use some anti-tank if it's like a mod I don't really have a lot of experience in or know what's going to really happen. So, but, Oh, look at that. No. Oh, you peace out with them. Why don't you peace out with us, you morons? What? Um, you get more light tanks if you really want. There you go. And we do just need to build more roads, in general. Could use quite a bit more. Oh, now they have... Let's see, it just seems so random and arbitrary when they peace out. How do you get pushed out of Dalian, Pyongyang, and Seoul? And with their army routed, the cowardly Japanese nations contacted us for peace. All they are capable of now is attempting to blockade the whole East Coast with the Navy. Not an easy task. Seeing their limited potential for success, Japanese public opinion pushed on by failures of the army, expressing the government to sign a peace, and it brings what remains of their army back home. Considering our naval inferiority, it would be wise for us to accept Japan's terms. Might as well, you know. Alright, anything's going to happen? Well, we'll see. It's still, we're still going. We're still fighting in the Kingdom of Siam. So... As long as there's enemies that need to be killed, we'll do it. End of the Second Sound of Japanese War. The War of 1894-95 uh, has been a humiliating defeat for our nation. Now the Japanese aggressors have finally been driven out and finally avenged their fallen brothers in the first son of the Japanese War. No more shall we allow foreign imperial powers to meddle in affairs of our proud nation. No more China shall be subjugated. We will be the master of our own destiny. Wan Sui. Is this our... Oh, is this our war with them in the national war? Do we actually take that territory? Hmm. Okay. Not bad. I'm also this area. Yeah, no, I'm taking this. I'm sorry, but this type of crap is not going to be tolerated here. 
I don't know if, it's, if it wasn't going to be already, but like, I, I'm not going to deal with that. That's BS, and everyone knows that is. Uh, sure, why not? I don't care. And we're, we're taking this territory. We fought and bled for this territory. We're taking it. They want it. They can come fight us for it. Okay. Taiwan? Nice. Why does this keep popping up? Stop it. Uh, fate of Korea. Fate of the Russian Far East. D British dominant Shanghai. Uh, whatever. Don't care. Um, from the Marine Corps? Yeah. Well, let's integrate Darian Lee's territory. Taiwan. The Russian Far East, our arms have managed to take control of the Russian Far East and is now occupied by us. A few options we can either pop the land or make it take it for ourselves. Seeing as possesses a key strategic uh, area uh, in East Asia, what should we do? The legation says you know that I restore British rights. If you want to buy that, please go ahead. We weren't even consulted. I honestly don't really give a crap right now. I don't want to fight for Shanghai. I really don't. At this point, I'm kind of done with this campaign because this type of crap is just it's not fun. Like, we basically won. Like, Getting rid of the Japanese is the most important thing. Uh, if you want to buy that, please go right ahead. No, military occupation. And Russian Far East. No. So, and because AI wants to do crap like that, I'm just going to cheat and give myself political power at this point. I don't care. I don't. I just do not care at this point. I'm sorry, guys, but like... I mean, we fought for so long, so hard. Things are just not 100% there yet. Even though it's 2020 and they should already be there, but, you know, whatever. Um, and we basically won. I don't want to fight the Entente. We basically won. If we go to war with the Shank with these people, we will we will win. I don't want to, and I don't want I don't want to fight the Entente. I don't want to fight the Reich's Pact. So I mean, we could, but like, we we've, we've already known we've won. They can't beat us. You cannot beat China with five million manpower now. It's going to be impossible for them. So I apologize for it, but like, yeah. I one thing I just don't understand. How, what was the peace deal like? Like with the peace deal. Like, why did it, it just felt like it just fired arbitrarily and randomly. Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. Like, you know, in vanilla, I think, or even some other mods, or even Kaiser Redux, it gives you a, t a countdown timer saying, like, oh, Japan is a month to reclaim Korea before the peace deal fires, or potential peace deal fires. So, uh, yeah, I don't understand. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So, and my god, like, I know you're supposed to take a hit when you, like, annex areas directly, but I'm sorry, but... The game lags hard enough that I don't care. I just don't care. I wish there was something else you could do or get penalized for. Um, instead of just losing all that political power. So, yeah, overall not bad. I mean, as you saw, we took out Russia. I'd love to take out these guys too, which is why we're waiting. We're going to wait until this stuff gets done for like another 40 days, which isn't bad. Oh, we're probably... Eh, screw it anyways. This is cheap for political power anyways. Guangzhou. How are we supposed to integrate these guys? Oh, it's probably just Shandong, yeah, and this stuff, and then we'll get this stuff done. Um, so we just gotta wait just a little bit longer. My apologies, but... Yeah, not bad overall. German East Asia. Is there nothing here to take back German East Asia? Do we get a new focus tree at all? No? Well, if you're wondering about these, please go right ahead. And as you can see, the game is lagging so bad. If we if we release Central Asia, or other parts of the country, or, you know, Asia, it even lag here. So... Overall, not bad. I mean, this is fun. Feng Chuan is fun. It's definitely a struggle, but it's worth playing. I definitely would recommend it, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess we did go eventually authoritarian democracy for now, but it is what it is. Oh, we actually have advisors. Look at this. Limit exports? Um, export-wise. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. Very good. I suppose we have the political power anyway, since we cheated, but whatever. Xinyang. Hanyang. Minxing. Uh, Breakthrough is not bad. Yeah, I like that one. Da dong. Happy 45. I usually don't play until 45, but hey, here we are, you know. You guys are done with that. Ooh. Yeah, and these divisions we got earlier we created, we can't convert, which I think is garbage, but whatever. Oh, yeah, you guys come over here, too. Um... Yeah, you must go over there. And you are tank division, you might as well go over here too. That's fine. Nice. But yeah, overall, like, if you know what you're doing, it's not that bad. Spend the Shenyang Aerodome? Uh, sure. Liang? 
Eh, nah, we're okay. We don't need you right now. No more tanks. Well, you go there. And you go right there. Didn't really use them, but, you know, we had them just in case. And about five days left to see what happens. Four, three, two. And if you want to do that one too, please go ahead. Also, if you want to read some more of these, like this one, or this one, or this one. That one. Generals know best, and we must be integrating them. Oh, one day left. Goodbye, and see? I'll see you now, look at that. You know what? Don't even give me the PP. Just, just get it done. I don't care, just get it done. That one done too. If you wonder about that, please go ahead. Anyway, oh, what's the next one? I, I, I don't care. I just, at this point, I'm sorry, I just don't care. Look at those extra divisions, 105? Well, not bad. But yeah, I think that's it. There's really nothing else, which I'm a little disappointed in. I was hoping there'd be a little bit more, just like, maybe not an actual focus for China. But how do we get back, like, these provinces? Like I said, I don't want to do it, but like, there at least should be the option for us to invade the legation cities, right? Or at least get, have a uh, method of integrating them back into us. Maybe, maybe not, but I guess that's going to be it, guys. There's nothing else here. And I'm a little disappointed that there's nothing for legation cities. But, regardless, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.